Lovely to see you. You too. I guess, literally, Melissa was your boss on this film. Yes. And, and Ben, I guess. Um, how was that relationship? Well, it's horrifying in the movie, but off screen it was quite lovely. Ironically, Melissa McCarthy is one of the best bosses I have ever had. And certainly, watching the film, I wasn't sure if this was horrible bosses or the boss, because, <laughs> you know, how, did, how were those days when she's being really kind of cruel to you? You know, I knew my role when I signed up. I was the punching bag, and I was going to keep a smile on my face because my character is very non-confrontational. And um, Melissa can throw absolutely anything at you in the moment, and I, I was ready for it. You do get the impression with Melissa that her, you know, good comedians, their minds fire rapidly. And, yes. um, you know, w w do you remember anything unexpected and impromptu, uh, improvisational that came out of her mouth that well, shocked you? So much of the movie are her improvisations and, and she's been working on this character for almost 20 years. She created it on stage in The Groundlings and she's just, she knows the character of Michelle Darnell inside and out. So, you know, there were times when she just wouldn't break character at all in between scenes. It was, it was exquisite to, to witness. Right. Now, I understand you, you had a newborn when you were making this film. Um, so you were, you know, juggling motherhood and work and how, how do you juggle those two? With a very good support system. Um, my sister was with me and my husband was with me and they were helping watch the kids. It wasn't a terrible schedule for me to shoot this movie, but the, the lucky, one of the many lucky things about being an actress is that I have a trailer and I can keep my kids close when I'm at work and I'm so grateful to be able to have that. I wish every young mother was able to keep a trailer right outside their office where their children could play so they could sort of keep them tucked in their pocket for the first couple of years. Right. Do you and Dex have an agreement where only one of you works at a time or something like that? Yeah, that's that's um, pretty much where we've come to uh, as being the parents of two young kids is it's just not worth it. Their, their childhood is it's so quick, it's so fleeting, and it's so fun that uh, we've tried to make a commitment that only one of us is working while the other one is completely present with the girls. Right. Um, Melissa McCarthy seems to have figured out her strengths in, in, in comedy circles. Um, how does a comedian sort of hone it down to what they do well and, and sort of exploit that vein, do you think? I think that it takes probably years of um, experimenting with what you think you can do. and. The, the, the greatest part about being on a live stage, whether you're performing in plays or uh, in an improv troupe, is you get an immediate response right there from the audience. They will tell you whether they love it or hate it. And Melissa is one of the most experienced improv stage actresses out there. Um, so yeah, I think that, that you know what you're good at by, by how the audience reacts. Right. Um, is the, the movie saying in any sense that, you know, a uh, female boss needs to be kind of a hard ass and as we say the, the men say a bit of a dick you know <laughs> well I think the movie is kind of saying many things it's you know the good parts is it's saying that you know don't ever let anyone tell you you can't it's be empowered as a young female and find your empowerment if you're an older female and haven't found it yet um, it's also saying that family can be anything and anybody if it chooses to be such um, but, you know, it is kind of interesting when you watch it, if you picture Michelle Darnell as a man, somehow it doesn't seem as bad, it seems more normal, because there, you know, there still is a little bit of that double standard where a man can interrupt someone and it's just him being powerful and a woman does it and you say, what a bitch. You know, it's a stinky a, double standard. Such a double standard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Agreed, completely. Um, did you, um, I was sorry, um, lost my train of thought. Um, in terms of, um, oh, I, I was going to say there's sort of a, you know, the, the beginning is kind of Dickensian, you know, um, the, the way she was, you know, swapped out in and out of foster um, homes and things like that, you know, is, is that uh, how, how much do you think that shaped her? outlook on life. 
I well, one of the great parts about Melissa as an actress, not just as a comedian, is that she roots everything. She can play these absurd characters, but she has a huge heart, and and somehow even her absurd characters are very grounded. And since she's known this character and shaped it for so many years, I think she wanted to include why Michelle Darnell is the way she is. And so that it was vital to have that orphanage sequence at the beginning of the movie to let you know why she was so terrified of the idea of family because she's scared of being rejected because she experienced it early on. And it, it just informs the character uh, for the audience so much better and it, it really allows you to take them in a more absurd direction because there's a, there's a degree of groundedness.